Like sometimes it depends on who does it first, the kind that, that you do or you get. I don't think anyone really knows when it started. As a people, we've always came up with our own expressions. Isn't it different based off you know somebody? It's very subtle. Most people don't, don't know it, particularly other cultures. I first realized that it, it didn't happen amongst other groups. I'm originally from New York City, so we grew up and it was almost instinctual. Like I said, I, I'm not conscious of it, so it it's just happens on its own. I'm from the South, so we got a little bit different swag about ours. You never know, man. You could be just walking down the street and see somebody and just give it up. It's like, oh, m my brother, my sister, what's up? Well, you know, man, nod is a real fascinating thing. You know, <laughs> nod. The nod, it's been in our culture for hundreds of years. Whether it be in the United States or Africa, Europe, even, even examples in, in India. It was very commonplace where there were small numbers of black or African folks um, to acknowledge one another with the nod. When I was first conscious of the nod, it was probably when I was like five or six seeing my, uh, my dad and his friends do it. You may not always do it when you're really young, but as you get older, you understand why people speak to each other in, in a nonverbal way, and that is that nod. It's interesting being a black woman in Portland um, especially from not being out here. Um, being here feels like an invisible anomaly. It's funny, I laugh at some of my friends who are also from the East Coast, and we talk about like being there, and it's like, you know, remember those days when, you know, these guys would be catcalling and say, hey, yo, chocolate, and you know, hi, queen, and all this other stuff, and we'd be like, please don't talk to me. And now you're just like, oh my God, I can't wait to go back home for that that A.O. chocolate or like just that acknowledgement. If I see somebody who's more like my elder, uh, it, is, it is a down nod for sure. For me, if I nod at you with the heads up, that means I look up to you, I respect you as a man, as a person. If I nod at you with the head down, keep it pushing. And it don't have to be a long nod, that won't work. This is perfectly timed. We don't need to know each other. We just need to affirm that we see you. And that's it, and it has to go no further than that. We don't have to say hi, bye, or none, it's just what's happening. Like, it's not one of those things that you gotta like, you know, I gotta know your walk of life. You know, I may not wanna meet you today, I may not wanna shake your hand, but I do wanna recognize you and say, I see you. Every time we see each other, um, we like to recognize one another. And the nod is one way to say that I see you. You, you exist. What is a nod? A nod to me is a, self-expression and the expression of compassion and to me compassion is medicine now you don't walk around all day looking for somebody to give a nod to but when you encounter people and particularly now that we don't shake hands when I walk I always nod I speak to people and it makes me feel good and I'm sure it makes them feel good when you see a fellow brother out there that's going through what you're going through and you understand his struggle you may not know him but you're gonna give him the nod and, I, and in some ways, I'm kind of like an introspective person, a little reserved. So I feel like the down nod is more my style. My nod is, is this here. Hey. Hey. What's up? Go one, like that. Because sometimes I do look at people and I'm just like. My dad used to hit it like this. Me, I have several different nods, you know, for different women and, and men, all that kind of stuff. It so, depends because there's so many variations. There's like... Like the blackbirds and crows. Right, yeah. They, right. They, you might, it might sound like a ah, to you, but actually that ah, was a ah, you know, right. to anybody else it looked like just a nod, but little do you know. Yeah, yes, like, okay, something's happening. Yeah, there's like, like mm-hmm, yeah. that kind of nod. And then there's more of like the sober nod. Then there's like the smiling nod. You know, it's so many nods. And then there's a nod in the car when people ride by people and they smile and smirk at you and kind of, yeah, look at me nod. Yeah, growing up in uh, uh, Indianapolis, Indiana and being around the head nods, when I asked my grandfather and a few of 
those uncles. Um, the way they explained it was that um, during slavery, it was one of those early kind of communications where there was no, no language. I was about 20 years old. I was stationed in Spokane, Washington. I went to Seattle, Tacoma, to visit. I'm walking down the street. This elderly gentleman, probably about 70, 80 years old, was sitting in front of a grocery store, just sitting there. And I walked by and I nodded at him and he nodded at me and as I went by he said, hold on young man, come here a minute. I said, yes sir. He said, are you related to Owens? I said, that's my great grandfather. He says, well, you walk just like him. So I can look back and say that if I had not nodded at him, <laughs> I probably would have never known that my grandfather was in this part of the country. Uh, working in a coal mine over in Roslyn, Washington. Oh, my Nas story. So, okay, oh, you, you want to hear the Nas story for today? I was in the Pearl District, and there's no brothers around there, man. And as I'm crossing this intersection, this four-way intersection, this brother is pulling up to the uh, stoplight, and I don't know why, but out the side of my vision, I just looked and, you know, we gave each other a nod, and it was just... One of my really close friends now, how we became, how we started becoming cool, um, I would always see him downtown and like didn't know him from anywhere. I think I'd like seen him around, maybe work. And like every single time I would see him, he would always just acknowledge whether it was a head nod, normally it was like a hi, how you doing? Or it was some sort of something. Um, and that meant everything. Let me see that nod. <laughs> that was hard to do. Okay, so it's the actual okay, it's the actual one. Okay, let me see here. Oh man, okay, I gotta do it into the camera. And one more time. Your nod, let me see it. That's my nod. That's it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can do this. Okay. Ah. I'm from Ghana and uh uh, in Ghana, we have that, that greeting which says, I see you, Minaoko. In the African culture, the nod is basically the same as it is in the African American culture, and it's a sense of, hey, when I see you, you're, I recognize your presence, I see you, I acknowledge you, and it's just kind of a check in that we do with each other. Well, when I arrived here from Los Angeles, when I came to Oregon, so when I first moved to Portland, I got here about a year ago. I did see that I was from a much more diverse place. As you know, Oregon doesn't have a lot of black people. One of the things that I found really interesting was that if I'm on the bus or like just walking into the mall. Walking along the beach here in Portland, Oregon. Where there aren't that many of us. So the first time I saw a black person walking down the street. I saw another brother approaching me. He was about 100 yards away and I'm walking around. When you saw another person who was black. The hello is imperative. And I knew for certain that the universal nod was going to come into play. You expected to have that connection. I saw him eye to eye, soul to soul. I was like, hey. <laughs> and then as you walk past him, you say hello. You know, you would do that little nod. And as I threw in the nod, and he see me. And I'm like, hey, what's up? You know, and just a little head nod. And they did not acknowledge me back. And then you don't get it back. And? and I'd get nothing. He left me hanging. It's as if you don't see me. And when I haven't gotten it back a few times. As if you have assassinated me. I didn't know how to respond. I was somewhat shocked. And then all of a sudden it hit me. I had encountered the elusive sand brother. So look here, if you ever encounter a sand brother and they leave you hanging like a high five, don't worry about it. Just remember, they've got sand in their eye and they can't see it right. I could actually feel how positive they are as a black person toward another black person. And uh, that always kind of leaves a kind of a funky feeling, you know. And they don't nod or they turn away. In fact, they kind of looked away. The, the <laughs> I've seen that here. My experience here in Portland is that we're a small black community and so we all know each other and so we often nod and hug and smile. I've experienced like being in other cities and like I'm smiling and nodding at them and like they're not paying me any attention often. Um, and so like I often wonder if some of it has to do with, um, you know, with where you're from and being more comfortable with people who you know. Uh, when I don't get the nod, 
that's usually a sign of uh, they don't recognize the struggle. Black men generally won't do, won't uh, reciprocate with the black nod, especially if they're part of an interracial couple. It's like, I'm not with you. I'm not with you guys. One time I was walking and I passed by like a few black men, didn't even look my way, no acknowledgement, no anything. And like, I was really pissed and annoyed. And I remember like seeing him like, a few blocks away and I'm like, I purposely need to cross the street because I just need to be seen at this moment in time. And sure enough, as I got to him, it was that same like, hey, what's up? Like, you know, head nod. It just meant so much. I remember when I was a youngster, all the men used to wear hats and they used to tip the brim of the hat and kind of nod their head at women especially. This is pretty exclusive to African-American men. Uh, if you nod to a woman, uh, it's not that, not that well received. Uh, you might not do it to elders, you might not do it to children, you might not even do it cross-gender, but if you encounter another brother your age or contemporary, you give them the hello. I'll always say something. I'll say like, hey, we're, we're here in Portland. Do you see any of us around? No, it's just you and I. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you the nod. But I notice whenever I'm running up against another bull, like myself, I tend to, you know, raise my head. I have a friend who, whose partner um, is a black man, and she says even when she's walking by herself, she doesn't, she doesn't get like that sort of, just that same sort of love or just acknowledgement that you're seeing. And she said whenever she's with him, that's when like other black men would acknowledge him and still would never like just at least acknowledge her. You know, coming to a place where you don't really feel seen for like your black femininity, for being a black woman here, um, it means a lot. So, you know, if you're a black man, please head nod or just acknowledge, you know, black women here. I went to Lincoln High School and the black population there was extremely small. So like you can literally be the only black student in your classroom and everyone's looking at you um, when black issues come up or you're in history class and things come up, they're looking at you to be the affirmation or the answer. So when you're walking the hallways after class, you feel kind of staggered and low in energy. And then when you see a fellow brother and he give you the head nod, he's letting you know that, hey, I see you, bro. I know that, you know, you're going through it, but hey, we here, we out here. When I see um, a student um, 
standing up for themselves to a teacher or to a, another individual that's their classmate. I see them and I give them like a headline, like, yeah, I see you. It's that one, well again, when I look at them from one athlete to another, I go, yeah. I do hope that the nod is passed down. Uh, it, it's important, it keeps us connected. We are so individualized now that we're so into our phones and whatnot that we don't even say hello or like see that we see another brother and give him a head nod. And I want, I want to bring it back. and I was over in the St. John's area and I'm walking around. Uh, I passed the security duties right outside of this bar, head nod, he head nods back. I keep walking and I get like to the corner and I'm thinking to myself like, that brother just nodded back to me. So I look back and he was still looking at me. So I walk back over and I was like, hey brother, where you from? He's like, I'm from Milwaukee. And I was like, ah, okay. And he goes, you ain't from around here either. And I was like, no, why do you, why do you ask? And he's like, Nobody around here says what's up to me. I stand here every night. And I was like, we got to change that, man. We got to get that head nod back. That's our people. That's my nod, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> okay, I can do this. Ooh, how do I do this? Hey, now I'm all awkward. Ooh, 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 you got some strains. Got some strains. There's some inappropriate gestures, but uh, those are reserved for special occasions. Till we meet again, keep this nod between us.